need more Marvel in your life. Officially licensed Marvel Collectors Chest Set The Marvel Age of Comics 1961-1978 40th Anniversary Edition Women's Marvel Spider-Man Red Spider Logo V Net T-Shirt Marvel Encyclopedia New Edition with Introduction by Stan Lee Rocket and Baby Groot are left alone with the Guardian's friendship. When Peter leaves to spend time with his father in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, the Guardians mutually make a really terrible decision. They leave Rocket and Baby Groot alone to PR Tech and repair the ship. Now, Rocket himself is pretty capable, but even with all his skills, there's no way he alone could get the Milano ready to fly. He would at least need an extra set of hands with a longer attention span than Baby Groot. On top of that, the Guardians know that the Sovereign are after them. Since they are a proud race, the Sovereign won't give up until they find justice. Baby Groot, cute as he is, will be of little help in a combat situation. By allowing both Gamora and Drax to depart with Peter, the Guardians leave both Rocket and their ship vulnerable. Drax should have stayed with Rocket to increase their odds if they did have to fight. Since Rocket and Baby Groot are left alone, the Ravagers are able to capture them without much of a fight. Gamora tries to sell the orb to the Collector. In the first Guardians of the Galaxy, Ronan sends Gamora after Peter Quill to retrieve the orb. Ronan plans to give the orb to Thanos, but Gamora has other plans. She decides to double-cross her father, keep the orb out of his hands. While her mission is noble, she tries to keep the orb safe by selling it too. The Collector. Obviously, Gamora has some idea about Thanos' ultimate plan. She knows he wants the Infinity Stones, and she knows that the stones hold great power. If Thanos is so desperate to get his hands on this orb, it's a logical conclusion that the orb might contain an Infinity Stone. If that's the case, why would Gamora entrust the orb to the Collector? The Collector keeps a large stock of rare interstellar objects. However, he's not a shining example of morality. He gains most objects in his collection through unlawful means and has very little protections that ensure his objects remain safe. If Gamora truly wants to keep Thanos from the Infinity Stone, there are much safer places to hide it than with the Collector. Thankfully, the stone never makes it into the Collector's possession. But Gamora's desire to sell one of the most powerful objects in the universe to a well-known crook isn't exactly smart. Rocket Raccoon steals Anulak's batteries from the Sovereign. Rocket Raccoon steals Anulak's batteries from the Sovereign. Nebula and Mentis tell Peter that Gamora is gone. Gone. Drax alerts Ronan to the Guardian's location with no plan, 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 plan. Gamora chases after Thanos, putting the location of the Soul Stone within his reach. Gamora chases after Thanos, putting the location of the Soul Stone within his reach. Peter punches Thanos and ruins the one chance to get the Infinity Gauntlet. Peter punches Thanos and ruins the one chance to get the Infinity Gauntlet. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.